Well, now, everybody, I'm your host, Lambo Drew. You are now tuned in to another edition of The Leverage Show. I'm telling y'all right now, make sure y'all are tuned in because it's getting ready to be a hot one tonight. Caliente. My guy, John Franco, is in the building, so we're going to make sure we bring the heat tonight. Listen, Leverage Show family, Lambo, your boy, I miss y'all, man. I got to tell y'all about my weekend. Got to kind of fill y'all in. Had an amazing, amazing time. For those and everything who do know, I surprised a lot of people and went down to the Atlanta event for the CP Summit Meetup and definitely met a lot, a lot, a lot of cool people, which actually one of those cool people who was actually down there was my guy, John Franco, who's on the leverage show tonight. So make sure you guys are definitely rocking and rolling because we're going up and we're going higher tonight, man. I'm telling y'all right now, I definitely cannot wait to go on ahead and show y'all some great things, man, and let John Franco really be able to bless y'all tremendously tonight for this broadcast. Listen, a lot of times, man, in life, we go through so many things. We're trying to figure out how we're going to get there, man, and how we're going to make sure that, you know, we get this, this level of success obtained there are so many doors to that. There's so many ladders. There's so many stairways to that. But the thing about it is, is that you have to climb them. You have to put the work in to get to that next level. And I promise you just in a few moments, man, as I bring my guests on, you're going to hear about his journey. You're going to hear about his climb. You're going to hear about all of the great ups, downs, back, forwards, the ins and the outs, but has also afforded him his way so he can actually make his dreams come true. And that's what we're about here. So make your dreams come true. So make sure y'all are tapped in on the level. So listen, we're going to see who's in the chats tonight, man. And I get on a quick recap before we bring my job, John Franco in. So make sure you guys are sharing this video, getting this video out to each and everybody, man, your neighbors, your friends, your loved ones, your sisters, your brothers, your mothers, your cousins, Everybody, I'm talking about even the mailman. Stop him in the middle of the street. Say, hey, man, I don't know what time of the season it is. Stop the Amazon man at the door. You tune into the Leverage Show and send it, send it, send it, man, because we're going up tonight and we always bring some of the hottest guests out here on this Leverage Show. All right, listen, let's see who's in the building tonight, man. L.A. Law, I see you in the building. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I hope all is well with the praying hands. Listen, L.A. Law, shout out to you and everything, man. Thank you for tapping in on another Leverage Show night. Shout out to you for catching that number one spot on the Leverage Show. I see you, L.A. Law. Got the pink game on deck and definitely is making moves. So shout out to you for L.A. Law for taking that number one spot because I already know how you roll, man, out here. Thank you, L.A. Law, for always doing what you do. My guy, Kennard Haney, is in the building. Congratulations, L.A. Law. Good to see a hungry front runner. Bro, hey, look, 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 look. I'm going to say this to y'all right now. It is a beautiful thing to get out there and get that first spot right there on the Leverage Show. That shows me that y'all are eager to get to this broadcast as much as I am to get to this broadcast. And to see that y'all was already tapping in over three, four hours ago, man, I love, I love, I love to see that that y'all are definitely, man, showing love, man, because you already know, man, my guy Johnny Franco is going to definitely show y'all some love tonight and drop some games. So make sure you guys are getting this out to everybody that you possibly know. I'm telling you, it's going down tonight. Shout out to my guy, Kennard Haney. Oh, you had a wonderful birthday, a surprise birthday party. For my guy, Kennard Haney, I got a chance to see some of those videos while I was out of town and really, really, really blessed my life to see the expression of Kennard and my guy, Jamal Titus, who actually went on ahead, man, and was actually tuned in to help uh, assist with that wonderful surprise birthday party. So shout out to you, Kennard, man. I know you had an amazing time, brother. Truly, 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 thank you for all that you do. And hope you were surprised as much as I was. Lambo and everything, man, did, uh, got a chance at least to spend a little time with you earlier this month and everything when I was in Columbus. And truly and everything, man, I was supposed to come back uh, a couple days before that, but some things and everything, man, happened where I could make it back, and I had and everything to business to attend here in Denver. But I definitely was with you in spirit, man, Kenard Haney, and thank you, thank you, thank you for what you have been doing, man. Continue to keep going higher. Again, hopefully, man, that made your day, man, because you always have made people's day, and you continue to keep blessing people to another level. What's up, Lambo? Do what you do. Hello, Mrs. Johnson. 
Shout out to the entire Lever Show family. You know who you are, and welcome back, newbies and first timers. You coming back? You better make sure you're coming back, man. Know that this is not the last time. That this is definitely a strong time. Whether a first time, if you've been out here on this Lever Show, because we gonna definitely show love. Uh, Kenar Anderson, my son-in-law, was on here last Thursday as filming something. 50k subs. Here we come. Oh man, shout out to you, Kenar for bringing his son, inviting his son. This is a family atmosphere right here on the Leverage Show. So definitely shout out for your son-in-law, man, for coming, tapping in, man, on the Leverage Show. Look, make sure the next time he's on here that he definitely gets a wonderful surprise, man, and a shout out. We're going to definitely do that, man. Ken says, also welcome to the Leverage Show, John Franco. Looking forward to some good gems that you are about to drop. His necks are open. Hey, you know it's in the building, man. That's how we doing it, man. My guy, Isidro, man, my guy, Isidro, and my guy, John Franco, got a chance to meet, man, while we were actually down there uh, at, for the event at Atlanta. Shout out for Isidro for flying all the way to Utah and literally making that move and saying, hey, yo, I'm not getting ready to let nobody pass me up. And Mr. Johnson is there. Lambo Drew is there. The family there. We rolling too, man, and definitely we were sexing off, man, in that joint, man, having a great time. Thank you, Isidro, man, for joining us down in Atlanta at definitely a wonderful, man, media package strategy event, which we had an amazing host, man, as my guy, Ed Zimbardi, went on ahead and did what he did best, and we got networked with some amazing people. Shout out to you, Issa. Issa says, man, hello, LA Law. Hi, brother Ken. Hello, everyone attending this amazing family. Let's rock this house. Happy Tuesday and many blessings on everyone. Thank you, Isidro, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your prayers, man. Thank you for all of those things. Uh, Isidro did know it. Some of, the, some of the other people know, man, my back actually uh, kind of went out you know, Saturday night going to Sunday, but I still made it. I gave no excuses of why I could not make it. If they had to roll me in a stretcher and put me inside, the resilience you was going to see was Lambo Drew in that joint. But man, I'm trying to tell you, I, I did a lot of networking that day before on that Saturday and really going ahead and enjoying people that, that, that Friday night as well. So it definitely made an impact and definitely to close it out that Sunday and shaking hands, taking pictures with everybody, and showing love to everybody. You guys made my day down there, man, in Atlanta. Thank each and every single one of you, man. And I'm going to get started with that just, just a little bit. But, yeah, I just want to show you some love. My wife is in the building. You know she's in the building, man, making this thing do what it do. Hello, everyone. Welcome, John Franco, showing her love, man. My wife already gassing me up, baby. She already know what time it is. Right here on the Lever Show, man. Thank you, man, for having an awesome wife and holding it down with the kids while I was away and everything, man, networking, doing what I do best. L.A. Law says, hi, Kennard. Hi, I see. Good to see you, man. Showing love. L.A. Law is back to my wife. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Good to see you. My wife is right back there. L.A. Law, man. You too, L.A. Law. Cutie Potato for Live is in the building. I see you. Hello, Lever Show family. Good to see y'all all this evening. Yes, it's a great thing to see y'all this evening. L.A. Law says, hi, Cutie Potato for Life. Good to see you, man. Fro is in the building. You got this. What's up, Fro? I see you, man. My little bro, Jay Weaves on the Facebook family is in the building. Lambo, not Rambo. You already know what time it is, baby. Full gear, baby. The Ferrari switch gears and the Lamborghini switches even faster. I love that. <laughs> L.A. Law says, hi, Fro. Good to see you showing love. Fro says, good to see you, L.A. Law. Man, Ken says, I see is in the house, man. Kids say, shout out to your fro, man. Fro is everything. Says, oh, LOL, thank you. Money says, hello, you got this. Shout out to your money for being in the building. You already know what time it is. LA Law wishing and everything, man. Kanona, happy belated birthday. Kanona, they just seen the mastermind group was at the party. I was totally surprised. Listen, this is what this thing was about. The mastermind group came to your party. You deserve those flowers. And see what happens is, we get in, in life, we get kind of caught up that we don't get the flowers that we deserve or we don't think that we're being seen or we don't think that we're being celebrated. People need to understand this. You are celebrated because what you have put into your being and how you conduct yourself, you are celebrated because of that. And Ken, you need to know, man, if I could have had presidents there, I'd have been sitting presidents there, man. 
just because it's you can know our brother listen they love you we love you here on the leverage show bro don't you ever forget that that means you should have turned all the way up this weekend man and i know my guy jt was probably part of those ones man on the ones and twos man as a dj booth man getting it in larry the lion is in the building my guy larry the lion he was there he knows john franco him and john was connected man actually sitting side by side and connecting right there at the Atlanta meeting. So definitely, we are excited about this. Those two have a similar interest when it comes down to the software IT thing. Lambo and everything, man, just sat back and had to just listen to the two professionals do their thing as they engage, man. But shout out to your big homie. Thank you, Larry, man, for everything, dude, that you have did. Dude, truly, 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 you had a chance to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with Lambo. We had a chance to get a lot of great, good stuff in, man, while we were there. Brother, I thank you, brother. Grown closer to you as a brother over this weekend, man. And was in the same Airbnb with me and our guy, Big Duke, man, as we got a chance, man, to really be in there, man, and really hone in and get down to business. See, a lot of times, man, a lot of people are out there partying. A lot of people are out there turning up, turning up big. Brother, when you with me, you with Lambo, we out there getting down to business so we can make some moves and everything, man, and make some moves for everybody else, man, that's connected with us. So shout out to you, Larry, the line. Keep rocking out. Keep doing what you do. I knew you was going to be tapped in tonight, brother. Wouldn't miss this for the world. Ken says, great motivational Monday, Jim Larry. Yes, Larry did the motivational Monday. Y'all go to my YouTube. The motivational Monday was from Larry, man. And that was us having a conversation at the house. And Larry and everything, he's just talking. And he's dropping gems, he's dropping bars. So I put the camera on it. I said, dog on it, you're gonna be my motivational Monday, Larry. You don't even know it. And you couldn't turn back. So shout out and everything, man, for Larry going on the head out there with the motivation of Monday. My guy from Fast Home Buyers USA. What's going on, fellas? I know this gotta be my guy, man, from John Franco and his peoples, man. Out here showing love, man, to the big homie, man, right here on the Leverage Show. Well, welcome to the Leverage Show. Thank you, Fast Home Buyers USA. Definitely couldn't uh, uh, couldn't miss you tapping in, especially on a wonderful Tuesday night, man, with my guy, John Franco. L.A. Law says, hi, Larry. Good to see you. Showing love. L.A. Law says, welcome, Fat Home Fast Buyers Home Buyers. You know it. I see say, let's go. Let's go. Let's make this do what it do. L.A. Law said, welcome, John. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Tidy say, Lambo Drew in the house. Happy Tuesday, Leverage Show family. What the fire. Shout out to you, JT, man. I already know. I love, 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 man. I was able to at least try to tap in, man, with JT and Ken and the Lambo Lounge, man, over the weekend while I was going. Thank y'all for all those videos. Thank y'all for all that love that y'all shown me of making sure that Ken got it right this weekend. And y'all got my guy, Kenard Haney, right. That's what this thing is all about, man. Make this thing happen, man. Fast home by you as I say, it's 10 times to Let's go. You know what time it is, man. It's 10X, baby. It's 10X time. They know I had the 10X on, man, out there all weekend. And you would have seen Lambo, brother. Lambo had a Lamborghini hat on one day, but I had my 10X gear on rolling, sticking it in their face, brother. We are not letting up, and we are going to go ahead and make this thing happen. Larry say, thank you, Kenard Haney. Lambo will put me on the spot in a second. Yes, you do. So you better be ready so you don't have to get ready. I'm telling you that right me. My guy, man, all the way in Cali, man. Didi's Chicken Cat Shack, Lambo Drew, Renata. Shout out to the Leverage Show family. Shout out to my guy, man, Dave and Chris for actually showing so much love, man, and using their Tuesday night downtime to tap in on the Leverage Show and show us some love. If y'all ever out there, man, in the California area, man, anywhere from Pasadena, Long Beach, or anywhere they can possibly be, y'all make sure y'all put up on Didi's Chick and Cat Shack and show them some love, man. And make sure that y'all buy out everything that they possibly got. They already be having lines long as they can possibly be because they are definitely a culture mover. L.A. Law says, man, hi, Jamal. Good to see you. L.A. Law showing love to hi, Didi's. Good to see you. Jamal Tide said, hey, L.A. Law, you know what time it is. My nephew's in the building. Love you, big Go. I see you, big Abram. Let's go make this thing happen, man. Looking good. Don't know, nephew. You looking better, man. Look like you lost some good weight, man. Shout out to your nephew. I see you. My mother-in-law is in the building. Shout out to mother-in-law, man. Showing so much love right out here, man. I see you, Prophetess Williams. EC say, shout out to Larry. It was a great honor to meet you and connect right there at the leverage, uh, at the meeting. So you already know what time it is and everything, man. Kids say, Larry, you handle your business, sir. 
Man, I love to hear that. L.A. Law, what's up, man? Listen, he did, man. If y'all missed it, y'all go check that short out. Fast home buyers. Ha <laughs> ha, Franco about to drop some serious nuggets. Hope we can carry them because they're going to be heavy. Oh, my goodness, man. He, in other words, he dropping boulders tonight. If he dropping boulders tonight and everything, man, I may have to go ahead and switch and everything to that. I may have to go from the hustler's ambition over here, man, to the 10X. If he done ready to go do that, we didn't just flip, flip the hat game. We didn't flip the hat game. Because if you saying that, I might as well just go on ahead and get ready. Thank you, Fast Home Buyers USA. Let's make this thing happen, man. Hey, my, my nephew said, I'm going to have my Lambo. Yes, you will, brother. Let's go make this happen, man, and let's go do what it do and keep this thing moving. Listen, Lambo has went on ahead and ran his chop through this. We had an amazing time, if you guys know, this weekend. If you guys seen it, you guys were in the Lambo Lounge in my Telegram, then you guys got a chance to see it. If not, I posted a few pictures on my story, but I posted mostly the pictures on my Instagram, my Instagram. If you guys are not tapped into my Instagram, it's right there on the screen. IG at Lambo Drew underscore TMT. IG at Lambo Drew underscore TMT. And you guys can go on ahead and take a take a look at all of those photos, but just a few photos and what I wrote about this weekend on my Instagram page. That's why I went on ahead and I put it. So if you guys are not tapped in again to my Telegram group at the Lambo Lounge, make sure you guys are tapped into my Instagram at Lambo Drew underscore TMT. Well, I posted those pictures. Listen, without further ado, we had an amazing time this weekend. That time and everything, man, we learned a lot. We learned a lot of cool stuff. A lot of great networking going on between us all. And we get into this place where I can actually say we were blessed beyond measure to be able to run into some amazing people. While we were out there, and shout out to if you guys caught the early episode of me and BOJ, we did a, a one on his channel at 8, 8, 8 a.m. my time, 10 a.m. his time this morning. Make sure you guys go check that video out. Uh, and so I've been doing nothing but Zooms, YouTubes, and everything else all day today. And even did a Zoom with my guy John and BOJ after that show. So it has been a heck of a day. While we were there, me and BOJ spent more time outside of the venue than we did inside listening to the venue. And I hate to say that. It, it, it was what it was. We had a lot of great people who were there to see us, to want to hug our necks, to want to take a picture. Everybody who wanted to take a picture uh, and really show us love, we are truly thankful and grateful for y'all. If I, if, I, if I miss taking a picture with you, you know, hey, I truly will go ahead and catch y'all the next time. It was a truly an amazing time. It was a blessing beyond measure. But I will say this for sure, man. One of the most amazing people we got a chance to meet there was my guy, John Franco, our next guest who came up there. John Franco's in the hallway, and me and BOJ, we're taking pictures. Shout out to my guy, man, Steve Nike, man, who was there. We're in the hall taking pictures, and we're sitting up in there chopping it up amongst each other. And I remember and everything, man, as we chopping it up, this young gentleman who looked like he should have been a model out there in Miami or California out there, you know, looked like he should have been modeling and everything, man, for one of these commercials as an infomercial, comes into our presence and say, yo, hey, we don't know who this is. This is Lambo. This is BOJ. This is Steve. They all taking pictures. They all know y'all who this is, and we got a chance to meet my guy, John Franco. When we met him, we didn't meet this guy who was trying to come at us like he was the guy's green gift of the earth with all his looks and everything else because he would have outbeat me and BOJ. I'm just telling you this right now. He's got youth on his hands, so my only person that's looking at me is my wonderful wife, and that's the only person I need looking at me. You understand? So when I'm in there, you understand, I stand next to John Franco. I could be like, oh, I feel a lot better and everything, man. This is my guy, my, my guy right here. You understand? John Franco is the one out here, man, who's the cover guy for, for all of y'all. So for all of the people, man, who definitely wanted to see and get a chance to meet us, we were able to meet y'all. But we were able to meet some wonderful people and connect. And in that time, a short meeting on the outside, and there's a bunch of people on the inside. 
coming out, you start seeing people using a bathroom, like you just decide to use a bathroom. And when they, they get outside, Lambo, let me take a picture. BOJ, let me take a picture. Steve, let me take a picture. It was a beautiful thing. That is what this network has been about. This network has allowed us to be able to reach people around the world and help change their lives around the world. We don't take it for granted. We see this platform that God has given us. We see this platform started out at four subscribers and it's literally now, any day now, getting ready to break 22,000 subscribers, man. I will say this. I am forever grateful for y'all, forever grateful for everybody who's loved on this this video and loved on this channel and loved on networking with people and loved on the guests who have brought here. I thank y'all for making this a hit show and allowing people to say, hey, we can level up in every aspect of our life. No, this channel is just not finances. Like most people have a direct niche. It may be finances. They may only talk finances. If you want to talk finances, you go see Jay Ford and Pain Group. You go see Coach Rashid. You go see BOJ. You go see some of these other guys who are really doing it. Passive income crocking. And all the rest of them showing here. But if you want to see a balance of different people around, you come right here to the leverage show. But we show you not only how to leverage up financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically, family, and every other aspect of your life. That's what the Leverage Show has been about. And we have been a well-rounded platform. And it's been my esteemed honor to welcome this next guest, who was one of those gentlemen who was looking at everybody, seeing us take pictures, and didn't know who the heck we was. And he found out really quickly who we was, and we got a chance not just that, to find out who he was. And we couldn't be more intrigued of sitting down talking to him about his vision and what he is actually doing. And we were blown away hearing what he actually had to say. And that right now has literally has blessed my life to be able to know this newfound friend within like the last 72 hours, Mr. John Franco coming to the Lever Show. Everybody, welcome my guy, John Franco, right here to the Lever Show. What's up? What's up, guys? Drew, my brother. I mean, that introdu uh, introduction was amazing in every way possible. But you did lie about something. I was just walking on the on the hallway, and I saw the crew. It was too cool for me. So you know, I, I almost... I, I almost thought that I was in the right fit for the for the crew. And it, oh man, stop <laughs> it, man. Stop it, man. You, you stop know. it. <laughs> no, man. Listen, we we uh, <laughs> we we really, man, we, we truly and all at all aspect, man, we really want to thank you, bro, because something about you stuck out, John. You know, no disrespect to anybody. We seen everybody uh trying to connect and we only had a limited of time yeah and uh for those who know if you know me man I, i'm a person man i get out there i'll talk with y'all i speak with y'all i see how y'all doing but if you know i'm a personal person i love to build a relationship yes, with sir. a person kind of know what you're doing it man what is your niche what it is that you do you know outside and what can you bring to the world and john was just like one of those people we were seeing every time i turned around i'm like golly I'm seeing John. You know, every time I turn around, I'm seeing John. We're running into John, and Larry's got John and talking to John. And every time I say, I say God, this, this John Franco, we're going to literally go ahead, man. We're going to have to connect because we knew something was big. Yeah. And shout out and everything, man, to Charles. Charles as well yes, for sir. his business partner, Charles, man, for literally being there. And me and Charles didn't get a chance to really connect only because we seen each other, man, on the high and by. And, on the it. touch basis of, of dealing with everybody else. Fast home buyers is actually Charles. Oh, stop, stop. you know what? You know what? Say that. Charles, real quick. Charles, my brother. I mean, funny story, guys. Before you know, I get into the into the whole, you know, of who I am, right? Like, Charles calls me last Sunday. He's like, "Oh, we gotta go to uh, Georgia. Uh, I got you a ticket, and I bought you the flight, and." The hotel is covered. Last minute, everything. And I'm like, all right, look, look, let's go because I love networking and it's my thing. It's always been my thing. So, you know, Tuesday he confirms everything. And then on Friday, I just put a backpack together and we took flight. And, you know, 
here's the thing, and I'll start speaking about uh, how setbacks, right? <laughs> Sometimes or setbacks are the, the, the stepping stone for a strong comeback, right? <laughs> and it starts with, you know, your vision and how hard you work for that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Charles knows that for us at this point in, in, in my in my life, in my career, networking, it's, it's like the most important thing. Mm -hmm. I thank God, I mean, in all possible ways, you know, for the people I met at the event, for you, uh, for the guys, Larry, for, you know, OBJ, BOJ, I'm sorry. Um, you know, we, 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 I think we spark something that is going to go the long way. Yeah. Um, and for everybody here, first of all, thank you for, you know, uh, just, you know, I don't know, uh, you know, waiting for me, supporting this, you know, whatever the case It's it's one of the first times that I do one of these things, but, you know, I'm super excited, um, about being here and thankful, uh, for the support for you, Drew, your family. I saw, so I saw some of your family members here and, uh, yeah. you know, I, uh, I just want to say, listen, there's always a starting point uh, for something big to happen, right? And I believe this is one of those starting points for our relationship to develop and us helping many people out there um, that are looking for that new opportunity, right? So um, I want you guys to really ask me questions. I'm gonna introduce myself in a few uh, uh, seconds here. But I do want to highlight that, you know, for whatever reason, if you think your life is not where it needs to be or, or where you want it to be, just keep pushing. I mean, rough times don't last forever. Mm -hmm. I've been in a roller coaster in my career, um, and uh, one thing led to the other one. And thank God today I have something that is going to help me personally, but it's going to help millions of people in the world right like i set a foundation for that uh and that's that's really what we're going to speak about today how is it that we're going to help so many people and what is it exactly that i know that you might not know as of now so drew you let me know where you want me to start i mean you know you're the host you tell me what's uh what's uh what's the intro part that you want me to go over and i'll put it together and uh we'll make this very interesting for your people brother you can say you can say less when it comes to that you know i've been i've been so blessed and amazing bro to to know and everything man some amazing people in my life uh but you know john let me say something to you man the thing that sparked me out was your youth your vision uh just sitting back up in here man saying like yo i'm not gonna be denied and the thing if you were there this weekend right was there was a lot of people who suffered losses yeah. suffered some major setbacks. And we're going to talk about one of those setbacks where some people, man, who don't know your story, will find you out more tonight. And uh, I will say this. I was intrigued more to actually see how visionary that you were, more a moving forward and, and, and saying there is nothing going to stop me. There will nothing be denied. The conference was bigger than what people seen there was so much networking going on within the conference you understand mm -hmm. that it really bridged people together john you said it was a last minute thing coming on shout out please shout out to the business partner charles dude <laughs> bro bro i really want to thank him and charles was there uh, with that's his wife, right? That was next to him. Was that his wife? No, no, no. It might be one of his secret girlfriends. I don't know, but he oh, was man. All the time. don't get me up there, man. Uh, see, <laughs> Lambo and everything throwing and everything. People underneath the bus now, nah, man. Charles, listen, we gonna eighty six that comment off the leverage show, bro. All right, man. Listen, I just know she was close with you. I just thought she was with you. We gonna leave it alone, bro. You my dog. All right, from a distance, you my dog. But when I seen and everything, man, you know, John, speak on Charles. Most people don't speak that way towards friends, towards business partners, towards people that they really, truly admire. How you spoke about him and, and exactly the support that he's given tonight, even towards you, compliment y'all. In life, we have a journey. 
And we have the journey where we didn't always build those relationships with people and right. always have the people who are supporting us. John, tonight, just for a little bit, can you take us back before John got connected with the people and connected with the journey and how the vision all started tonight, John? Listen, listen, I have a, an insane background. First of all, I was not born in the United States. I am from the Dominican Republic. I came when I was 11. Um, I was raised in a very Hispanic community to a point that I did not need to speak English. So, you know, I was 17, 18, um, and I still didn't speak English. I went to college because I was doing good in school. And, um, you know, and then I was like, holy shit, like, yeah. wow, like, how can I speak to these people? Everybody has this vocabulary that I don't, I don't dominate. And, I started failing classes and all these different things. So at one point I'm like, listen, I'm not gonna graduate and I'm not going to work a nine to five, not because it might not be the right thing uh, not to do, right? It's not the right thing not to do. Sorry, it's not the, the thing not to do. It's like what most people do when they're trained to do, right? Mm -hmm. But for me at one point I was like, listen, there is much more to life than a nine to five, right? With all respect to everybody out there working a nine to five. So when I was 18, I started getting into businesses and I had a cleaning company. Then throughout that same period of time, I was working with one of my very close friends and we started developing software. And we got into this technology where uh, we basically set up business owners with routers that could collect information so that they can do remarketing and, and grow their database and grow their business with time. And that was picking up for us, but I didn't know how to network. And the reason I didn't know how to network, it was simply because I did not speak the vocabulary properly, right? I was afraid. I thought that people were gonna judge me and my dreams were short at that time, right? We fell uh, and then I saw that another company came and he, they duplicated everything that I did and sold the technology for like $85 million to Optimum. So I was like, listen, I gotta, I gotta work my life out right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Take that back and put that in slow motion for the people in the back to hear. They sold the same company that's with the same thing that you were developing yes, to sir. somebody else for how much again? $85 million. 85. Optimum, the cable vision company, they bought you, that technology. You did say eight point five thousand dollars, yeah. right? Eight five. You also eight point five million dollars. Eighty five million dollars. Eighty five, not eight point five. Eighty five million dollars. So that was like a dagger going through my heart for the next fourteen months. <laughs> you know, like, listen. I mean, it's hard, like, thinking about companies that you can put together that they're going to evaluate like this, right? And I'm like, you know, whatever it is. So I started doing real estate and day trading, and I was doing fairly good. I used to wholesale somewhere between three and five properties a month, mm -hmm. uh, and then COVID hit. So when COVID hit, I started getting into the e-commerce environment. So I started, you know, selling online. I lost $28,000 in the first 60 days. I didn't know anything in regards to the space. And I thought I was smart enough to just, you know, pick good products and sell it and whatever. <laughs> that did not work. So I then find somebody that gave me advice. <laughs> and I then found success selling online. So I sold, you know, a few million dollars on Amazon. And then I was like, listen, what can I do to go bigger? So I yeah. started doing Amazon automations. Many of you guys might have heard Amazon automations. They're not a good investment vehicle at all right now. Just make now, sure. You guys I want you to. I want you to talk to us because I got. I got a good friend. I know he's watching, man. And um, Gab, man, he 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 wants. Why is that not a good investment? Talk to us the ins and out about that. Listen, well. listen to this. Listen to this. The the way it used to work was that you could do drop shipping and nothing will happen to you, right? Essentially, what I was doing is. I was hiring people overseas, paying them basically two, three dollars an hour, and then putting them in the account that I wanted them to manage. When the orders were coming through, we were ordering from like Walmart and sending directly to the Amazon buyer. 
So what happened was Amazon said, you know what, this, this is happening too much. And they started regulating that and suspending everybody. So all of my investors started losing money. I was losing money because I wasn't producing money for them. And about 80% of all the companies doing automations, they, they went out of business. They have lawsuits. They have problems with the SEC. They were promising things that, that are not, you know, delivered to a customer and, and that just died out. There's very few companies out there that you can literally trust today when it comes to automations and generating income for you. So it became a very delicate thing, right? And for those of you guys looking at this video, I mean, it, it, it's like a high risk investment, you know, if, if you go that route. I mean, you can manage your own Amazon business and we're gonna speak about that. And the many things that you can do to really you know, earn passive income with e-commerce and how you can do your own automation process, which is more or less what I'm focused on right now. And um, and, and in general, here's the thing. E-commerce is a fast evolving environment, right? Technology changes very fast. Uh, regulations, they change very fast. And you have to be up to date on everything. You cannot just say, okay, I'm going to do it this way. And for 10 years, it's going to work the same way. No, it changes very often right you you have to be on top of it so that's what happened to a lot of people they didn't think it was going to change they didn't think it was going to get to the point it got mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people i mean they're in deep 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 problems right now when it comes to these things and uh, i just got away from that and i focused mm -hmm. on technology and uh, the reason i got into technology again was because mm -hmm. during covid i used to use a software that I used to like because it kept everything simple for me. And um, what happened was from day to night, the whole software crashed. Nobody was you know, providing customer support. And um, I'm like, listen, mm -hmm. I told my guy, listen, let's send emails every single day until somebody responds. And it took about 73 days, I think two months and like 18 days before they responded to us. And um, the guy hits me back up and he's like, listen, the owner passed away with COVID. Mm. And I was offering funding. I'm like, listen, if it's funding, I'll, I'll fund the whole thing. We put it back to work and whatever. He responded to me telling me, no, the owner passed away. So I'm like, what are my options? Can I just take over the project? And he's like, no, unfortunately, he died. And all of those passwords, they went with him. Yep. A multi-million dollar business, by the way. Yeah. That business was worth it easily, easily over $10 million. <laughs> so I'm like, listen, can we reinvent the whole software? But we're going to make it better this time. Right. And uh, he tells me, yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to cost you, you know, we're going to start with $5,000 a month. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we'll start hiring more people, you know, as we need it. And we're going to build this up for you. So... We go a whole year developing, and when we launch, the technology that I used to love so much was outdated. So I was like, what? Wow. <laughs> like, wow. I'm like, wow, <laughs> I invested all this money, like 110 grand already into this, and, and there's nothing that I can do with this. And uh, we didn't get a single client. So mm. then I'm like, listen, I already have $110,000. I'm going to, I'm going to keep going and I'm going to, I'm going to do something big about this. So, um, for the next 18 months, I, I continue to invest into this and I finalized my investment at over three quarters of a million dollars. And, uh, we made, hold on, hold on, hold on. back then. You gotta, you gotta bring that up. You said you finalized your investment at over three quarters of a million dollars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just to, to get it to where it needs to be, right? <laughs> and, uh, and and that's a bold move because what I did was I started reaching out to all these coaches and agencies and big groups. And I'm like, listen, I want to create something very, very good for you to operate mm -hmm. your business. What can that be? And they started sending me all these things that they wanted in there. So I'm like, okay, now I know what people are looking for. Yeah. And I had about 500 inter interviews like this. So I ran the market analysis on the company and I'm like, there's no limitations as of to how many people we can reach with this. Right. Like 
it's a huge industry. It's it's going to generate over six trillion dollars in 2025 alone. So when you, when I put that in perspective, I'm like this this industry is a multi trillion dollar industry. I have a high potential again of making my dreams come through, right? Like remember, mind you, I'm thinking about losing 85 million dollars already. <laughs> so I'm like, this is my well. This is now I can go for like a billion dollars, like. <laughs> Yeah, scale all the way up, man. I kept going and kept going, and um, and now we're here, right? We're in that stage where now we we are uh, putting this uh, platform to be accessible to the masses, and we're preparing marketing. We're doing all these different things, so we're making a huge push to reach the masses. And when I speak about the masses, absolutely anybody out there that it's looking for a way of monetizing their computer time. My whole thing is turn computer time into money time. It's the future. Uh, E-commerce is it's like having real estate in every way possible, right? Um, retail is shifting um, with the new generations. I mean, I'm generation X, generation Z, and, and you know, and then the, the generations after, they're going to consume more and more on the internet. So having e-commerce uh, uh, channels right now under your name is is literally having a gold mine and uh we're in early stages of e-commerce i made my own analysis my own uh, uh um you know projection of what's going to happen in the next 10 20 years and guys listen whoever is not in for whatever whatever reason now is the time to really like look into it because we are you know i, I wasn't born rich and most of you guys, you know, are just working your way up or you're in a level where, okay, you're thankful for what you have, but you know, you have to go through a lot of stuff to make it to where you are right now. And growing in life, it's about taking small, little steps, correct little steps often, right? When you do that, it's like your life is going to compound and it's going to put you in a, in an uptrend where everything starts to work for you right like when i look back into my life and you know i had a lot of pitfalls i lost hundreds of thousands of dollars i i, I lost over four hundred fifty thousand dollars in a in a phone deal that i was trying to get into and uh i still haven't solved that right mm -hmm. and that did not take me away from my vision of moving forward i mean that that's still going on i have an investigation i have a lot of stuff going on with that Mm -hmm. um, but that did not divert me from my mission, my vision, right? Which is helping hundreds of thousands of people around the globe. Mm -hmm. And when I speak about e-commerce, I speak about e-commerce with a passion because it changed my life. And I'm, I'm a nobody, right? I'm not Instagram famous. I'm not a huge YouTuber. I'm, I'm none of those things, right? I'm just a regular guy that did not speak English a few years ago. Um, and they didn't know anything about business, you know, if, if you put it in perspective. And e-commerce gave me a foundation. I became a very good salesperson, if, you know, if you guys can identify a little bit of that. I'm still learning. You know, I'm not Grant Cardone or anything like that. But <laughs> what I can tell you is the small little decisions that I took started compounding, right? And they gave me the opportunity of being where I, where I am right now. And some of you guys are going to continue moving forward in life in an uptrend where in five years, 10 years, you're going to look back and you're going to see how you change your life from being, you know, just an average life to being something exceptional that you dreamt of, right? You dream of that, of that life today. So make sure you guys continue to learn. I mean, what Drew has in this, in this, uh, in this channel, it's, it's a gold mine, right? We are living in, in an era where data is king. If you have data, you have money. If you have content, you get money, right? It's like, that's where we're living at right now. Like a lot of people are just getting entertained on social media and they don't ever find ways of monetizing that time, right? And then they go work a nine to five and they complain every single day of their life until retirement. Retirement, it's something that if you project what's happening with the economy and you look ahead 10, 20, 30 years from today, 
you're going to see that 401k, 401k plans, retirement plans, and all these other social security things, they're going to be some, some sort of scam at that point, right? Because that's still coming out of your paycheck with the promise of, okay, you're going to be able to support your life when you retire. But there's a lot of uh, moving pieces <laughs> to the economy. And when that time comes, that money is not going to be worth that anything. That's right. really simple what it is. So if you guys don't set up a net of protection around yourselves right now, you are going to struggle when that time comes. And the sad part about that is that when that time comes, you're now older, you're not motivated, and you don't have the strength to really push the way that some of you guys can push today, right? As long as we're healthy, we're alive, and we understand what we want out of life, we're always going to be able to move in that direction. I'm very disciplined when it comes to my uh, visions, right, with what I want to do in my life. Before, I used to work a lot for the money. Now, I work for the purpose of making money, but when I make money, I feel good because I'm helping others. You understand? Like my passion became the source of income for my life. And it took me years before I found that out, right? Like, because initially when you're young, you just want money. You want shiny things. You want all the crazy things that you see out there. But at one point, you understand that those things, they're just things that want, once you have them, it's like, it's like having the same thing you had before. Like it doesn't do anything good for you. It's it's like a material thing that you can easily replace and it doesn't have any value or, or, or anything that is going to preserve itself for the long term. It's it's momentarily. That's what I'm trying to say. And back to what I'm trying to say here is we live a very short life on earth. And making money is good. You want to be comfortable. You want to be, you know, you want to have options because money gives you options, obviously. But you want to create happiness in the process of how you live your life and how you monetize your life, right? Mm -hmm. Which is something that we see with very wealthy people. Sometimes they work so much, they get old, and they're, then they are regretting not spending time with their family or perhaps not enjoying life the right way. So that tells you a lot. It tells you that because we don't have money, we think that money is, is happiness. But then when you have money and those people that have money, true money, they look back and they understand that they wasted their life in the wrong yes. things perhaps, right? So there's a balance in those things that you guys have to find. Uh, do not only pursue money. That's what I'm trying to tell you because sometimes you do the wrong things pursuing money, right? We want to create a financial balance. Not everybody's meant to be a millionaire or billionaire. Like there's levels to life. And once you identify what makes you happy or how can you live your life without having to think about money, right? Because wealth is not necessarily money. I mean, you can be a wealthy person with $100,000 and you can be a very miserable, rich person with a million dollars, right? <laughs> so there is a misconception in between those two things. But my point being is, for those of you guys in this channel, you guys believe in the in the e-commerce world, right? Crypto is e-commerce. Mm -hmm. You know, buying and selling anything that you do, you know, in regards to transactions online, it's e-commerce. So, you guys are in a in an environment where you guys can learn how to create a lifestyle that gives you that freedom, so that you can enjoy your life, right? And I'm going to speak to you guys about how you guys can do that directly with the technology that I am uh, publishing in the next few weeks and how we are going to make massive wealth for hundreds and millions of people out there. Right. So that is my initial breakdown of, of my story and, and how I came across the software and why I'm very passionate about helping people. Right. I've been that guy that has been in a roller coaster. I've seen it all the way at the top. I've seen it all the way at the bottom. So I can relate to both types of people, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
money doesn't necessarily impress me unless you're a billionaire and uh you can share some secrets with me i mean that's that's different but uh but uh you know it's it's just that type of thing and um you know again my thing is i, I think i feel good about seeing others uh improve the way they live and doing the things they want because you don't want to struggle in life i mean suffering in life because you don't have money it's a really really bad experience um you know i i've struggled i had days where i didn't have a dollar to buy a mcdonald's and um not you not you john franco i mean you almost look like bad bunny's twin man <laughs> <laughs> yeah. listen but you know i mean the looks didn't buy me food back then you know like that that's just bottom line what it is and we have so much ahead of us i mean listen when it comes to meeting the right people i always tell people it doesn't matter how much money you have you don't if you don't know the right people that doesn't really matter right yeah um you know and it, it, it relates back to even what happened this weekend right like I said, I'm going to go, I'm going to network. And now, you know, we are here in this, in this uh, uh, YouTube video live, you know, you know, sharing stuff with people. And uh, I know that we're going to have a long-term relationship, right? Yeah. And out of that event, we created great, great friendships that are only going to become more solid with time. But you guys are going to somewhat help me become better tomorrow and vice versa right and it's all in the network because if you don't have the right people surrounding you it, it, it's like you're stuck in life mm -hmm. it, it comes down to that right so networking it's it's one of the most important things that anybody out there can do because yes. the next person you meet might have the information you need to move on in life to improve your life right um, and that's how I feel about networking. I'm, I'm, an, I'm a networking animal, um, and I love meeting people. You don't know what the next person you're going to meet is going to bring to your life and how you can grow together with that person. So today I might be sharing some insane secrets yeah. on how you guys can run an Amazon store from the convenience of your house. I mean, the pitch is there, guys. Hey. <laughs> hey, we're excited to hear about this because when I heard about it from you, I knew this would be revolutionary and it'd be yeah. life changing to a lot of people, especially sharing it here on the leverage show. So I'm gonna let you take it away, John. We yeah. can't wait for this. So, um, guys, to so break down, you know, what I've been working on for you know the last three years and change. Um, essentially, we focus on creating a very simple and efficient mechanism for new sellers and active sellers who basically find products and monetize in the fastest way possible right because amazon is not simply oh i have this idea let me buy it and sell it, it there's a lot of more logic to selling on amazon matter of fact every single successful amazon seller out there uses third-party software to analyze opportunities and calculate risk so instead of using two three softwares to make that decision we've created an all-in-one platform where we simplify that with artificial intelligence um and uh we essentially give you a plug and play solution where you know you put it into your computer and we give you like an hour training and you're going to know exactly what you're going to do and if you invest an hour to two hours on your amazon channel every single day in a matter of three to six months you're going to have a very very uh good amazon account that is going to perform for you at a rate of 10 to 25 percent return on investment mm -hmm. uh, so for some of you guys crypto guys that that might not be a lot of money but yeah. it is a sustainable business model not only that amazon stores as they're going up in value they so as they're going up in revenue they're actually stacking up a value right so let's say you have a store that generates a million dollars in sales and your profit is uh let's say 180,000 annually that yeah. store might be worth a half a million dollars to seven hundred thousand dollars so yeah. you're making passive income but you're creating an asset that if you decide to sell it is going to be worth it hundreds of thousands of dollars if not millions of dollars yeah. right it depends on how big you scale it right. not only that inside of amazon you also have financing options so as you're scaling your account, there are partners from Amazon, financial partners of Amazon that 
are going to open up lines of credit for you to grow the account even further. So when it comes to scaling and growing, these are things that the average person doesn't know because they haven't experienced that. But we are focused on, you know, getting you from point A to Z, right? Because we know everything that happens in between every single milestone that you hit inside of Amazon. And we are going to streamline that with education because, uh, you know, we're creating a very good education system for the software, around the software. But the software itself is going to help you get from point A to point B and point A being starting point and point B being a successful Amazon seller. Because, you know, you're generating this cash flow that is going to, at one point, be almost automated because you're reselling the same products. So you're not looking for a single product every single day. Right, you find right. your products, you're going to have a catalog of products, and that product might sell for the whole year for you, right? So it's not like you need to be a slave of, of the e-commerce channel. It, it doesn't work like that. It's something that Amazon is going to, you know, do all the logistics for you. Uh, through the program FBA, Fulfillment by Amazon. Uh, we have prep services around the uh, United States, which as of now is not connected to the software itself. But in the next update of the software, we're also implementing artificial intelligence for the first time in the logistics side of things, right? So what that means is anybody that sells online, Mm -hmm. or any retail store in the United States, they need some sort of logistics, right? And the difficult part for e-commerce sellers is that they don't have warehouse uh, 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 assets in every single state. Before you send your products to Amazon, you need to prepare your products for Amazon. So mm -hmm. there's a logistics process that needs to take place before you send it to Amazon. Unless you want to pay a very high premium, Mm -hmm. And then that's that, right? But there's a process that you need to complete where you put the labels for Amazon to, you know, connect it to your account and understand your inventory, as well as protect the product the proper way so that so that it doesn't get damaged when they pick it up and send it over to the customer. That process for the first time is going to get artificial intelligence and it's going to be connected to the dashboard of where you find products. That pro that service, that add-on, that artificial intelligence mechanism is going to give all the sellers access to the 50 states simultaneously to run logistics. This will simplify the headache of having to sign contracts, the premium prices they're paying because of the, the low volume that they're selling individually. Um, and most importantly, is going to increase the opportunity for sellers to have uh, uh, wholesalers and distributors in any state. <clears throat> you understand? Like if I'm in New Jersey and you're in California and you're my distributor and I don't have a facility in California, it's almost impossible for me to move the merchandise to New Jersey, prepare it and send it over to Amazon. And that might happen to you several times throughout the, the, the month because you're contacting so many different distributors and wholesalers to find your product that you don't know in which state they are. And then you have that problem. And then if you're doing that, you might be buying the product at a good price. But by the time you have to pay that expensive transportation, you're going to lose your profits. So yeah. it's killing the opportunity for many people out there. And we are creating the massive solution that's going to first go live for all of our users, um, you know, under the data side of the extension. And, um, and yeah, so that's one way of looking at the overview of what we have in place. We have the data side of things, which is how we educate you on is the high risk profitable or not. And then you have the logistics, which is how we solve the headache of, I need a contract with a hundred different warehouses in the United States. If not, this is not going to work out for me. So that's the technology. And when you put it all together, it's like an all in one cockpit for people to just run their business one or two hours a day maximum. And we can train people on even building teams. So you don't need to be that person always doing product research. We can empower you with the team as you're scaling so that the business becomes a formal business and you have the time to do other things because some of you guys 
are focused on crypto or real estate or whatever the case, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to let go of those things for this to produce, right? Mm -hmm. We have a lot of resources throughout, you know, the training, throughout the process of you scaling and learning the system uh, to the point that, you know, my vision is to, you know, in the first 12 months, I want to establish every single person that comes to us and has the right funding so that in the second, third year and every year after, their asset is going up in value and it's just being optimized with the team that we assemble for them. So that's just what we do in the side of uh, technology. And, um, you know, we of course, it, it also connects with great leaders uh, that are doing the coaching and the training, making sure everything is working smoothly and all of these things. But that's what we do at America Data and Software Technologies. Um, you know, our product is called Ace in Mice. And uh, we have some great, great stuff uh, happening in the next uh, few days when it comes to our program. We're putting final touches to it and to it. And then uh, we're going to go live. So most of you guys might see my face all over the Internet in every single state. It's going to be like Bad Bunny in YouTube. Back buddy of YouTube, uh, John Franco. Y'all heard it yourself here on a leverage show tonight, man. Yes, and you sir. know, you can put that bad buddy on no matter where you're going, man. And people are vibing. <laughs> bad buddy, I don't care what culture you yeah. in. You're vibing <laughs> when you hear bad buddy. So everybody's going to be vibing to John Franco, man, really soon. I'm, I'm actually intrigued. Like, what is the knowledge mindset that you must have to be a part of this? For those people who are interested in this, John. Listen, there is no type of background or knowledge needed to getting started, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we have simplified how much knowledge you need to have in order for you to get started. If you understand numbers, and by numbers I mean you do understand that you got to buy cheaper to sell higher, then you're in business with me. I can get you to run your business in the most simple form possible. These, the artificial intelligence algorithms, they're going to be working for you and simplifying a lot of that headache. That's, mm. that's just bottom line what it is. So a kid, a five, six, seven year old kid can learn how to run an, an Amazon business with this tool, right? And we made it the way it is because there are other softwares out there, but they're much more complex. And you need a lot of coaching before you dominate those platforms. For me, it was, listen, I want this to be accessible to everybody. You know, I don't need to, you know, waste a whole two, three weeks, a month, just learning how to use something. And I'm still afraid of making the buying decision for that product because I still don't think that I dominate that software. Right. So I've simplified that because this is for the masses. I mean, I think there are millions and countless millions of people out there looking for an opportunity, trying to find out, you know, what can I do that can make me money, right? And 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 perhaps there's a lot of parents that they want to be with their family at home or their kids at home, or perhaps there are people that have been fired from a nine to five and now they need a replacement of their income, right? Those people are the people that I am passionate about uh, and, and there's countless people like seeking an opportunity where they can put some money to work and grow that money and pay their bills and grow from there. Like this is what we focus on. Right. Like this is my niche. This is not my niche. It's a massive audience. I mean. <laughs> you know, and this is my industry, you know, like it's uh, but those are the people that I am very passionate about helping. And uh, those are the people that I know we're going to be working with in masses and uh, helping in masses in every aspect possible. Wow. You know, I mean, we're going to go into some more questions. For those who got questions, make sure y'all start putting them up there. I want to give a quick shout out today. Uh, shout out to you, Tracy. I see you, T. Huge. Shout out to you, Freddie B. I see you, Freddie B. Shout out to my guy, Points Blank Travel is in the building. Shout out to my guy, Rod, always showing love, man, right here in the building on The Leverage Show. Listen, I want to get to this question real quick to Kennard Amy. He said, is this a turnkey software business that allows you to become profitable in three to six months or a course or what exactly? Kenner, that's a great, great question. To answer that, it is 
a semi-automatic mechanism that you have to still monitor and you still have to put some time into it for you to complete the process, right? It's not a hands-off process. In three to six months, we guarantee you that you're going to be profitable. It can be in a month, but not everybody's fast. Not everybody is going to get orders placed in the first two weeks and, you know, the whole process of sending to Amazon. So I'd rather say three to six months because the average person is going to hit three to six months uh, time frame before they can say, OK, this is working for me. I'm making a few thousand dollars and this is really how it's, it's working out for me. And then in regards to the course, we do offer courses so you can you can pay. Uh, advanced courses where we, you know, give you one-on-one -on -one time uh, so that we can elaborate on things in details, create a particular blueprint for you so that we can accelerate the growth of your e-commerce channel, right? Some people, they want fast results. Well, we have that option. For the people that don't or perhaps don't have the budget, they can go through the regular uh, onboarding process we have, which is going to teach you how to use the software uh, and teach you how to make you know, those good decisions that we guaranteed are going to end up being profitable, uh, uh, you know, products for you. So that's uh, if that answers your question, then um, I'm glad that I did properly. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think so. You know, let's talk about it. Uh, and, this, and this is another good one. Shout out to my guy, T. Huji, showing love to Mr. Haney. Good to see you winning, T. Huji. And Ken says, man, so if I wanted to do just books, could this opportunity show me how to do just that? So there is a lot of moving parts to the books only. So you can buy physical books or you can sell digital books or you can create your own ebooks. Like if you can tell me a little bit of what you're looking to accomplish in, in more detail so that I don't go into the wrong avenues um i can elaborate uh, on the software and how it can help you at that point yeah kid kind of break that down into uh a more you know broke down answer and i know it's kid, Haney. he he can break it down and everything man i'm trying to tell y'all if nobody can break it down ken can break it down so shout <laughs> out to ken man for that yeah. you know but let's get some of the elephants out of the rooms man for a lot of people who oh, are concerned, we hear three to six months, we hear profitability, we hear a successful Amazon store. The next question that is running off of every, everybody's mouth is, how much is all this gonna cost me? Listen, this is gonna be a mind blowing number to many of you guys. My software is only $37 a month. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 time, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. You say $3,700 a month? $37 a month. $37,000 a month. $37,000. There you go. You heard it from Drew, not me. You hit out of Lambo's mouth. He said $37,000, y'all. So this is, for, this is for big numbers only. You got $37,000. That's what this is going to cost you You're to go in and, and run. <laughs> Yes, sir. You're in. You got thirty-seven thousand. You're in a hundred percent. And I will clean your dishes. <laughs> hey, I'm telling y'all. I think, and this is this the truth. I think this may be one of the less expensive opportunities of a lifetime for some of y'all to be able to scale and see profits from you scaling. Now there's gonna be a lot of other stuff I know outside of the $37. Correct. Something less than a $50 bill. Most of y'all can't even go shopping on a Burger King or McDonald's or to some of these other places unless you've got at least a hundred or $200 in your pocket for $37. Someone could take advantage of this opportunity yes, sir. and begin to start helping change their lives, John Franco. That's exactly what it is. Now, let me put a big pause there because obviously they need capital to buy products, right? Let's go. That's what I want. I want the breakdown. All Talk right. to me, John. So the software is one thing, right? We have $37 for the software, uh, and then you have $39 that you got to pay Amazon for 
you know, to have access into their platform as a company. Um, and then you need product, uh, capital for the product. Now there's uh, a handful ways of you putting capital together, right? Mm -hmm. We know about OPM, which mm -hmm. I think is something that a lot of people that don't have the money never think of. Yeah. You have credit cards, you can do it with credit cards and you're the right person for that. Yes. And then you have your cash, right? So you have three options. The starting number that I recommend people to start with, it's at least $5,000 budget. Okay. That is going to create, you know, it's not going to make you a millionaire, but here's here's what I want you guys to do on this set here. If you look at how much the bank pays you on your money, you're going to see that they're paying 4% or less, right? If you're investing into the market, you know, through an, a financial investor, uh, a financial advisor, you're going to get somewhere between 8 and 14% on your money. Mm -hmm. And then you have other vehicles of investment, but on average, you don't see anything over 20%. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. When I put this in simple math and terms, you know, to you guys so that you can digest this properly, $5,000, just using $5,000 for 12 months, after you know you start you know successfully running your inventory and everything else you are making six thousand dollars on the same five thousand dollars so you're making over 100 percent on your money at just 10 percent return on investment on that capital every single month you heard that drew you heard that um um you you almost froze me up like you know when you get that computer click you almost <laughs> froze me up like so, so so let me take this back let me take this back you made this opportunity of a lifetime shout out to damian Burris. the life opportunity of lifetime only lasts a lifetime of the opportunity where a person can get in for 37 dollars a month with your software then another 39 dollars a month with amazon and then five thousand dollars of available capital could help them produce a hundred percent return monthly Annually. Annually. 10% monthly. That's the minimum I focus on. It's a 10% minimum all the way to 25. Okay, so so this five thousand dollar investment within one year will guarantee them annually they will actually be able to make five, six thousand dollars, hundred percent plus return. Exactly. So if a person, let's just say if we break these numbers down, let's break these numbers down. 10%, right? Uh, is there any other fees, numbers, or anything that people should be aware of that 10% that they will be earning per month? No, 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 because that percent is, uh, is uh, net profit, right? You're mm -hmm. going to have a higher return on investment when you don't deduct, let's say the Amazon fees, Amazon is going to charge between 16 and 18% commission. Then you have your logistics fee, which is the price of sending that to the customer, right? We are going to pre-calculate those things for you way before you decide on buying the product that you're going to add into your inventory. So when I say 10%, it's 10%, basically 0% risk by the time you buy the, the inventory. So we are doing the upfront homework to not take any risk and not get stuck with inventory that's not going to sell. So we're going to identify, is this product a, a fast seller or not? Is this product uh, 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 profitable or not? What is the competition in the listing, right? Who am I going against so that I can understand my numbers on how many units I'm estimating that I'm going to sell? And it's very simple, right? Like when you learn how to play by those three rules, you're you're gonna run the business successfully. And everybody has a different criteria. I mean, there are people that they're okay with making 5% return on investment on their money. Mm -hmm. Some people want 10, some people want 20. Once you identify what is your risk tolerance and how much return on investment you want to get on your money every month, right? you are going to make your own decisions. My recommendation is that 10% a month minimum is going to do it for you. You're going to double your money. And as you get better, that number is supposed to be optimized because now you know how to find more opportunity on your by yourself. And that number is only going to go up 
I mean, it cannot go down. It's like going to school to, you know, for whatever purpose and you're, you're getting better with time. You're not getting worse. You're getting more knowledgeable. So it's, it's almost the same thing. It's like working out. You grow muscles with practice and that's, that's essentially how e-commerce works, right? Like you do this repeatedly over and over and you're going to notice every single product is analyzed the same exact way. Nothing changes. It's always the same criteria. It's always the same analytics that you're going to under, you know, go over. And then the decision is going to be very clear. It's either yes or no. And we're going to help you clarify that confusion with simplistic mechanisms that, that they're going to become extremely easy for you to understand, to analyze and digest and make a good decision. Right. Mm. Like, so that's, that's how Amazon works. Right. And when you put that in perspective, a hundred percent on my money or, you know, some people go into 200% on their money. I mean, that's, that's amazing. Right. I have my first student before I, I got the software. Um, this guy makes over $180,000 annually out of Amazon. What? How much is he leveraging then? One hundred and eighty thousand. You know what's crazy about this guy? He started like with five thousand dollars, and then he had great credit. And I got him into a credit program. He got like a hundred twenty thousand dollars in credit cards. I think he got like fifteen credit cards. And this guy has like a payment schedule on all his credit cards, and he knows when to use which credit card and all that. And this guy does everything that he wants. Now you know he went from earning about forty thousand dollars annually. To earning a hundred eighty thousand dollars, and now he's opening uh, to other investment opportunities, right? Like now he's dealing with Airbnb and doing all these other things. Because this is what happens when you have money to play, you can you can actually open different doors, right? You can take yeah. on some new opportunities. It's no, there's no way you're gonna do it with no money. So sometimes it's hard finding that first stepping stone that's gonna help you take off. But that stepping stone has to be something that you can visualize yourself doing for a few years nonstop because you might think it might happen in a month but it takes a year or two if you don't if you don't visualize yourself doing it i mean it, that's terrible i mean you're going to struggle because you're just not going to like it and when you don't right. like what you do you know what happens you give up you're not motivated you know and and, and that's the type of of uh support that we want to enable for our users we want to you know help them understand listen this can facilitate a bright future for you right working from home i, I think anybody will love love the idea of working from home or monetizing yeah. from home you, you understand like so we are sort of a stepping stone for a lot of people and there's no limit as of to how much money you can make because if you put a million dollars in capital to your Amazon store, you're going to run a unicorn inside of Amazon. You're going to buy more inventory than anybody out there, literally. Like, you know, there are not many people putting a million dollars in inventory every single month. The average person, you know, puts maybe somewhere between twenty five and fifty thousand dollars and they're mm -hmm. making average thirty five thousand uh, dollars as the minimum, you know, uh, profit every single year, which $35,000 added on to your nine to five, it, it can also be life changing. Yeah. And so there's countless ways of how you can move forward or move inside of the e-commerce environment and maneuver your finances to, you know, bring yourself up to the next level. So our focus is again, giving that access to the people that don't know that option is there for them, right? For the people that think it's complicated to come in and, and monetize and do something that's really long term, right? Because Amazon right. is not going anywhere. One right. out of two orders that go through the internet, they go through Amazon. So right. that tells you, okay, you know, if if Amazon is taking one out of two orders on the internet, and there are another hundred something platforms trying to compete with Amazon, everybody else is very tiny when it comes mm -hmm. to generating sales, right? And the traffic and the eyes and everything is just on Amazon. So focus on Amazon. Everybody in this in this particular particular life should have an Amazon store. Mm. Everybody. It's like having real estate. Even if you don't want to generate massive money, just having it and doing something in there, uh, it's going to, to be something at one point. Mm. There are people buying accounts out there. There are people flipping accounts out there. It's, it's really like real estate. 
and any idea that pops into your head of any product, you can literally learn how to bring it from China. If you know how to analyze a niche with my software, you can also identify if your idea is high risk, a high risk or low risk. So there's massive opportunity. There should not be a person out there today not leveraging the internet. Crypto yeah. is one thing. Selling on Amazon is another thing, but there are many other avenues and people should diversify, right? Yeah. The more diversify you are, the more protected you are. Because if I only rely on one business model and that business model falls apart for whatever reason, now I don't have financial stability, right? right. So that diversification, it's, it's necessary, it's, it's needed. The average millionaire out there has multiple sources of oh income. yes yes plain and simple yes. so if that is what's on the books and it works for them i mean you guys should visualize yourselves doing just that and for those of you guys that have a you know a, a nice lifestyle you have a nine to five you don't want to disrupt your current life to do these things we can assemble a team for you we can assemble the store for you instead of paying $25,000 for an automation store, we can do it for a fraction of that. Train mm -hmm. your team and you pay them by the hour and they grow the account and you're more profitable for you know doing that than just paying a random company that for sure at one point is gonna get your account suspended because that's what's gonna end up happening. I know every in and out of the Amazon space um, and it's, extremely rare rare that a that a, that a, that an, an amazon account under their umbrella doesn't get flagged or suspended it's one of the two so mm -hmm. the way to do it is just as i am presenting to you guys uh it's a great opportunity i have uh many success stories uh matter of fact charles years back when I was doing the automation, he invested into my automation services. And that's how we came together. And the first year Charles was with me, he generated 67% return on, on his money. So I generated about 134% uh, on his money and I took 50% and gave him 50%. That was a business model, right? Right. What happened was it got regulated then i lost control of multiple accounts suspensions and everything else and everybody just went down down hills right like and and it hurt my finances it hurt uh um you know a lot of relationships with these clients because they yeah. didn't understand that that happened right yeah but there are things that you can control and some that you cannot Thanks. so we can only prepare for the ones that we can diversification is a can right how things work, the regulations in these industries, and how uh, um, you know, and and how you scale, are not necessarily controlled by you, right? Okay. What you can control, it's again diversification, understanding knowledge, and applying as much as you can of your time into something that it's working, right? Okay. But always having that mindset of if I need to pivot. I pivot, right? right? Because you can have a, a huge vision, but throughout the stages of developing that vision or getting to your vision, there are problems that if you don't pivot, you don't accomplish your vision, right? So right. It, it, it comes down to that. And you guys should think about that in your, in, the, in your personal lives, right? Like you guys now understand what I've done, what I do and how I'm going to reach the reach masses. But uh, for you guys individually, my piece of advice is don't let obstacles get in your vision or your ambitions of accomplishing something in life. Not even people, because not everybody's a bright minded person for you to share your ideas. Right. What's going to happen is some people will will destroy mm. the, your emotions, your feelings about something that they don't understand. You understand? And then you're not motivated and people stop pursuing things in life because of a lot of that happening yeah. over and over. Right. And it's something that we have to all protect internally from. Right. You don't listen to everybody 
and not everybody's your friend and all that. Like, and, 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 and it's just simply this focus on what you want mm. and pursue it. But at the same time, be ready to pivot and mm -hmm. make changes because things can change in, on the, on the way to that, you know, a uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, particular goal that you have. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to me. My career is, uh, over nine years now. And I have to pivot so many different ways for me to make it here, right? And now I can say that I am here, right? I feel that, you know, I'm in this particular stage of my life and this is going to skyrocket. Yeah. You know, that's that's just what I know about my particular situation. But if, if I even look back like 24 months back, people will think I was crazy back then. Now people, they, they want to call me and say, hey, listen, do you need anything type of thing? You do understand that, right? Like, so people will only support you when you're at the top. Back then, you did want me. Now I'm hot. You all on me. Okay, let me go. <laughs> there you go, man. Shout out yeah. to Mike Jones, man. So, so that's, you know, and, and again, you know, this 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 year, this this uh, life, it's, uh, I hope it's of value to a lot of people. You know your people that follow you believe in the things that you do and and the people that you bring here um you know but that that's just what i'll i'll, I'll end up um talking about tonight mm -hmm. diversify and plan for a strategy that is going to serve you as a protective net financially if you're working a nine to five, that is not a safety net. There are people yeah. getting laid out, laid off work after 20 years in big companies, like huge companies are closing down. Like the way the future is changing, it's it's um it's it's something that we can control. Facts. Some things that we cannot control, and we have to be able to say okay you know if this happens well this is my plan b plan c plan d and so on and having multiple sources of income it's one of those best ways because yeah. money it's everything we need money for everything right Fact. it's it's just what it is so diversification guys is very important um you know if there's anything that i can do for any of you guys drew has my direct information um, and he can share that at his will. Um, and uh, when we launch with the programs and the funnels for you guys to visit and, you know, see everything that I've spoken about, well, I guess at that point he'll notify you guys. But anything that I can do for you guys individually or in a group setting, I'm here for you guys. I'm passionate yeah. about creating success stories. I think yeah. that that's, why, that's what I'm pursuing right now creating success stories, creating that emotion of, I did that. And mm -hmm. now that person, it's in track to do this, right? right. I feel that this is my calling. Uh, I'm, I'm doing that for as many people as I can through technology, because I'm not limited inside mm -hmm. of a platform, right? Like I can do this to, uh, you know, for absolutely anybody out there, uh, but diversification, focusing, visualizing your next 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Some some people don't know what that looks like for them. Right. And then just looking backwards, planning backwards. It's uh it's the only uh type of advice that I, I I can, you know, I can just say uh you have to focus on doing that because it's gonna help you visualize exactly what you want in life. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna dictate, you know, what should be your next step so that you can get there. And uh, I want to see you guys win. I mean, I want to see everybody win. Struggling is not a good thing. Suffering is not a good thing, right? So we have to, let's say, uh, protect ourselves from those things. And the way we do that is taking small, good decisions every single day. Because that's going to compound and it's going to put you in a different mindset, in a different financial situation, different fa family, whatever the case. Like, it's just going to upgrade your life. But it starts with small little decisions that help you get to point b and um and that's what i do i do it with software and i do it in my personal life hey shout out to my guy john franco dude that's what i'm talking about listen make sure 
you guys are tapped into John Franco, dude. I believed everything in here he was talking tonight. And especially, I'm a big person who's an advocate of systems. Systems allow you to be able to leverage yourself to a whole nother level. And the more systems that you are diversified in, the more your wealth will continuously to grow. This system that John Franco is talking about, state of the art, y'all, is something that literally people have been trying to scratch their brains and trying to figure out because they've seen how Amazon stores yeah. and all these other things have failed. John Franco has actually made a pivot around that. Yes, Not sir. only to go on ahead and put you in the game, but to be able to be successful for the long run in the game. Yes, sir. You know, no, I'm, so I'm excited. John, you, you brother, you came with it tonight, man. I, I really am proud of you, man. You know, Ken says this is a great question. Y'all got any questions? Y'all put them in the comments, man. I'm pretty sure. sure. Let's let's Thank let's you. open up a Q and A right now. I mean, yeah. any question out there, I, I like to answer it in the in the next minutes. So, uh, Ken, um, selling books is highly profitable, uh, and and turning that into different forms, it's it's definitely one of the best things that you can do. I'm not sure if you're writing the books or reselling books. Whatever the case, it's it's the most profitable thing that you can focus on. Uh, making books is is uh, is not expensive, and uh, you can value your book at whatever price point. Obviously, it's going to come uh, down to you know, do people search for these type of books, and how many keywords can relate to your book because it's almost like Google, right? Like inside of Amazon, everything works like Google. Whatever people type is gonna provide them with results. So there's a connection that needs to be made into these things for you to start showing uh, in the search results. But books are the way that Amazon started and books are going very, very strong inside of the platform. Uh, Ebooks, they're a huge industry in every possible way that you can imagine. And that is very, very profitable, ebooks. And books, you know, of all forms for sure. So I think that's a very good approach. Um, I don't think it's going to uh, generate massive wealth for you uh, unless you're like an incredibly good author or let's say you have great books from massive, you know, writers. Uh, so what I'll suggest is that you create a balance in between wholesaling, which is an easy approach and books. And then you pivot, you know, and, and focus on the things that generate more money for you. Because unless um, this is producing for you, you're not going to focus on it. You do understand that, right? So you sell motivational books. In fact, I love to get a copy of one of your books. See if we can add it on to our, uh, um, you know, platform on motiv motivating or sellers. And uh, see if we can, you know, leverage that in there also. But uh, books is, is just a great market in every way. Uh, they're profitable. People look for books. People people read random and new books. And you can, you know, you can take off, like, you know, selling motivational stuff. And, uh, and then around that, I suggest that you also create a very social, uh, a strong social presence because that's going to generate traffic into these channels and people will buy more and all that so you want to be like a credible source uh when people search for your name and and all these things so you know there's a a whole structure that you need to put together uh for people to say okay i want to read this book you know this book it, it seems to be the right thing so it, it's not only listening it but preparing everything that goes behind behind the scenes for for the client to research who you are and the reviews on the book and all that so it takes it takes a little bit more than that. So I'll suggest that you do the two things, wholesale and sell books. As you're, set, as you're building up your book uh, uh, business, you're monetizing. So, you know, your focus is in the same platform and, and you're learning everything that you need to learn so that you can boost this and generate money. That's that's my personal suggestion in regards to that. Way to go, man. John Franco answered that, kid. I really know Ken went on here and took full advantage of that, man. That's what... That's what this thing is about, man. Take your full advantage of that, especially on a Q&A when you get a chance to get a hold of the mastermind himself. 
Yeah. Uh, my guy John Franco in here, man. So definitely, thank you, that. Yeah, kid, I know you're mind blown. I think we, we all have been blown and stuff like that. Uh, one or two hours a day of learning. So yeah, what are the class times that you're actually, and how long for those course times, man? I, th I think that's a, another very good question. So, um, or, or training videos, they're very short. Uh, they're under five minutes on average, right? We break things down into very small videos. So it's not long videos, boring videos, none of those things. We're very interactive. Uh, one or two hours a day of learning is not what you need to do. It's one or two out, one to two hours of implementing what you learn that you need for you to pick up the business, right? Like learning is one thing, but implementing is another thing. So you might need maybe 10 to 15 minutes a day. You're going to have customer support. You're going to have direct coaches, you know, answering things faster for you. And then when they explain to you what you need to do, all you got to do is put time and, 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 and basically uh, focus on, on execution, right? Because if you don't execute, you're not going to move forward. You have to work for this to pick up. You have to learn the platform for you to monetize it. And that's, that's, that's very simple uh, to do. And uh, it's very repetitive after you know a few weeks because it's it's like the same logic in everything inside of Amazon. Good, I think that man, do that. He, John is coming with it, man. Thank you, John. This has been beyond enlightening. You dropped some nuclear bombs, man. Hey, that's Anybody what I'm questions. Uh, my wife, look, shout out. She say, Is this a for sure profitable business? Listen. That's what everybody wants to know uh, when it sure. comes to it. Okay. So, is so it, like, is it guaranteed? Listen, nothing on in life is guaranteed, right? Like I can only say it's ninety nine point nine nine percent guaranteed, but nobody's gonna tell you it's one hundred percent guaranteed. However, um, in comparison to any other industry, uh, the failure rate of e commerce sellers inside of Amazon it's is very very slim. It's very minimal. And the people that fail inside of Amazon is because they think they can guess how this all works out, right? Like I'll give you a backstory. And I mentioned that when I started selling on Amazon, I lost $28,000. Yeah. The average person will not withstand losing $28,000. So that's a failure story, right? If I would have stopped, that was going to be a failure, failing story. So long story short, with my strategy, I guarantee the business is profitable my strategy my software right i only know so much about the business but my my projections my training my software it's all created around what i know works right and i basically guarantee that if you follow the rules you follow the rules not the rules you follow the training and the things that we teach you how you know how to analyze and, and and find products and negotiate with suppliers that you're going to be profitable and um profits they're calculated before you even invest in pro in products so unless you purchase a product and you don't you didn't do your calculations properly you're not going to lose money so it's zero percent risk if you know how to calculate profits beforehand so is that you know and, and let me go here with that it's a now, I've got to piggyback off of my wife because I know a lot of people are probably thinking this. So is that something that maybe you and your team could probably do like a consultation to like help people navigate? Like, is this, if, am I doing the right homework behind this? Is this something that you feel 100% that it could go forth and be profitable? Or is something that you'd be like, ah, if I was you, I, I wouldn't do that. I'd probably pivot to do something else. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. If if I was, let's say if I could go back in time, six, seven years, I would have mm -hmm. put all of my, my money into this business model. That's how much I trust this mm -hmm. business model. And I've seen it work for countless people that I've coached and people that I also did automation stores for. So I'm a very seasoned seller to the point that I can identify mistakes and my team it's is in the same level, right? Like I've trained my team, I've adapted my team to my regulations in within the business. And those people, they're gonna macro manage all of our users, right? Or thing is making sure that our users are not only paying $37,
but they're getting a benefit out of this uh, out of the 37 dollars you understand right. because people are not going to pay a service that's not generating them profits facts so i am and even at 37 dollars, it doesn't hurt anybody some people might forget like drew you have a 37 dollar bill you're gonna forget about that thing. that's so small for your oh my god that's like the smallest transaction for you bro <laughs> <laughs> it's like a set like a set nah leave it there leave it like <laughs> so 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 there you go man i told you i mean bologna sandwiches I keep my head on there man fried bologna sandwiches they know what time it the is gold, sprinkle gold right you, you sprinkle gold, sprinkle gold. I spring, the gold sprinkles i got from dollar tree it wasn't the one that <laughs> uh, your boy, man, I see the gold dude be put on there. Uh, I got the gold little sprinkles from Dollar Tree, man, I put on there. So, yeah. Yeah, my meal is under $5, man. Bread, bologna, and then I put a little heat on it with the sprinkles. So, y'all know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, to, to answer your wife properly, uh, there's risk in anything. Um, mm -hmm. We legitimate the risk to be almost none with the method of training and follow-up that we have right um as long as you do what we coach you to do we are guaranteeing that you're going to be profitable and you're going to scale the business and again you know i again I, i'm gonna say this very very serious to you guys like most businesses do not get to grow in their first 12 months this yeah. is a beautiful part about e-commerce, right? You can become an overnight success story if you have the right product, if you have the right strategy, right? We've seen that so many times that you should not limit yourself to thinking that, okay, because this is happening in the internet and I've never done it before, I can't do it. Anybody can do it. You understand? Anybody can do this. It's not rocket science. It's not complicated, but it's not something that you guess because there are so many moving parts inside of the platform that for somebody that doesn't understand that there are commissions that Amazon takes, that you have to pay taxes, that there's logistic services, that there's a prep service that you need to pay. All these numbers, they're, they're, they're going to eat your profits. And if you do the wrong calculation, like I have people that think, okay, if you buy a product for five dollars and sell it for ten dollars inside of amazon it's profitable that right. that right there i can guarantee you it's not profitable and if it is you're making five to, to ten cents you get you get the whole concept right like so yeah. making mental calculations is it's impossible within the platform it has to be done through systems and that's what we empower you with when you pay the 37 dollars, we give you the calculator we give you historic charts we give you analytics on who's dominating the, the buy box. We give you variations views so you know which variation of the product is generating the most sales. We are giving you an overview of the, of the whole product, how much revenue, how many units is it selling every single month, uh, how many sellers are selling the item, is Amazon selling, is the brand selling. All of these things, we simplify it so that you can see it right there at your fingerprints. I like that. I like the simplicity of that. That that puts a little bit more ease, not just in, in my mind, my wife's mind, and everybody else who's definitely an inquiring mind wants to know. This is really good right here. Yeah, thank yep, you. For yep. that. Listen, least recommended oh. amount. The least recommended amount. I mean, you can start with anything, right? So I always say, listen, you want to make some uh, relevant uh, money every single month on the platform. So for me, relevant money might be, my minimum is a thousand dollars, but for other people it might be $300. So that assessment is a personal assessment. If you wanna make, if you're okay with launching the business and you're not, you're gonna love the the, the learning curve and you're gonna be okay with $300, then you, you should do something like $3,000. Okay. For those of you guys that, you know, my minimum is a thousand, and this is what I want to see. Well, you got to put ten thousand dollars on the table, right? It's it's a numbers game because we're playing with return on investment. So the okay. more money you put, the more income you're gonna get. 
but it's a relative uh, thing. It's, it's, you know, you multiply, you know, whatever number you, you can put together times 10, and that's going to give you more or less your profits. And then you got to deduct the Amazon fee and the software, which is going to add up to like 80 bucks, right? So it is going to come down to that. Everybody has a different personal number. And keep in mind that I always say 10% because 10% gives me the green light to invest in a product, but you can find a product for 30% return on investment. Like that is something that as you learn how to dominate the software and understand the platform and, and what people are searching for, you are going to come across those products. I had products that generated me over $30,000 in a single day. Wow. Like that. Wow. Like that. So, you know, it comes down to that then that happened to me in the first 14 months. But then I found those products and, you know, I made a lot of money on those products. You do understand that it, it's a learning curve and you're only going to get better with practice. And then with the right team, because I wasn't doing things by myself at all times. You know, I I evolved from being a, an individual seller to having VAs, virtual assistants, to yeah. you know putting other people to manage the account for me. And I focus on the software when that was all happening. So that gave me the leverage of time and, and money. And, um, you know, you, you guys can do it in, in, in other ways, but everything can be systemized. And mm -hmm. it's not expensive to run the business. You don't have to pay a retail store. You don't have to pay uh, employees to be inside of the building waiting for customers. You don't have to waste uh, or, or spend invest 10 hours a day, 10, 15 hours a day in there as a manager of the business it takes minimal time you, you know if i'm managing a business it's only going to take me 30 to 45 minutes a day right because i know the business and i know you know what exactly i'm doing and my time is very efficient efficiency in, a, in anything is key yeah you know if you if you swim and you're not an efficient swimmer you're not going to make it to the other side you're going to drown yeah. Yeah. Thing, right, right. Like, so, so it, it's like efficiency is key in everything. I'm very efficiency oriented. Efficiency okay. is key to me. I used to tell my 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 employees, my VAs at all times. Listen, I'm gonna pay you for eight hours, but if you finish it in four hours, that's good for you because I'm still gonna pay you for the additional hours. For eight hours. Yeah. Saying, like I don't care about your hours. I care about the results. Right. And. Everything I see it the same way, and you guys should see it that way, right? You want to put your money to work in an efficient way, and you're doing two things when you when you invest into e-commerce, right? Into an Amazon store. One, you're forming an LLC that's carrying a running business, that's carrying a business that's profitable that you can sell. So you have equity in your business that started with zero dollars, and you're also making passive income. So if I have to create a, a mental example here, let's say we start with $10,000. And at the end of 12 months, we generated profit $60,000. Mm -hmm. We're going to multiply $60,000 times 4.5. That might be the healthy multiplier for an investor to come and buy your account. You're talking about a $350,000 account, but you also got paid $60,000. So in a year, you added $410,000 into your portfolio of businesses or, diver or, or diversified assets. Yep, yep. You understand? There's no house that you guys can buy for zero dollars and turn it into $410,000 with $10,000 a month. It's impossible you guys are going to do that. And there's no other investment vehicle that can do it. Like There are very aggressive return on investments out there. We know those, Drew. Uh, yeah. they don't create an asset for you, right? And and they, right. they might not be as sustainable as running a business that you do understand that's always going to have a demand for products, right? Like, so mm -hmm. this is a long-term investment opportunity for you guys, right? You can start with absolutely nothing right now. A few thousand dollars to start a business. It's like, it's like me saying, you know, I have, uh, I have gold in my hands and, you know, you can start polishing it so that, you know, at the end of a year, it's 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 really a diamond type of thing. Right. So okay. it's, it's it's essentially the same opportunity. And I always say we're in the 1970s 
of real estate, but in e-commerce. Okay. You understand? I like that. In the 70s, you could buy cheap houses, 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars. You could still buy houses. But with time, it became very hard to buy properties like that. That's the same thing that's going to happen with e-commerce. The entry level, as we wait more and more, is going to be very difficult because competitors, they're going to grow. It's going to require more money for you to say, okay, you know, this is this is going to make sense for me. And mm -hmm. um, and those are the things that you have to observe, right? Like, so the opportunity is right in front of you guys right now. Opening up a store is going to take you, you know, 30 minutes filling up the application, seven days for you to get approved and verify. And then... You know, you just invest, you know, three to five hours a week into that asset that is going to scale with you as you're putting more products, as you're increasing efficiency inside of the platform. It's not rocket science. It's very simple and it can be automated with the right team members. But for that, obviously, you want to be running, you want to understand the business and you want to have, you know, a, a, a larger capital for that to make sense because now you have to pay an employee, right? But, and it comes down to that. But anybody out there can make money in this. And there's great opportunity for you guys, you know, to come in and let's say, hey, I want to do it. Not only I'll teach you how to make money inside of Amazon, but I'll teach you how to make money outside of Amazon also with the referral program that we're going to have. Okay. Okay. I like that. All so, right. Next one. Also, can you use a 401k or anything to get into this, man? Listen, 401k, I, I, listen, I, I'm not I'm not really I'm not really that that person to answer that. Um, I do have resources of financial advisors and people within you know that that particular industry that can answer that best. I do not know how to use 401k. I don't even have a 401k, <laughs> like yeah. you know. Uh <laughs> Yeah, like that's just my, uh, me. Can um, so 5K? Yes, I'll suggest 5K to be the that minimum. Um, so that you know, for you, for instance, you're focusing on books. You're gonna have to run advertisement. You're gonna have to do other things that uh, other people don't need to do when they do wholesale. But yes, I'll recommend five thousand dollars. Five thousand. Excuse me. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand. Five K to get in there. I think that's that's a pretty fair. Good, that gives you about 500 bucks a month, man. That'll work, man, you know? Listen. You Pretty huge you shout out to my guy, man. Say thank you, Kenar, for speaking life. And yes, I'm winning in some big ways. Thanks to Lambo Drew Cedar Instructions. Thank you, Emil T. Huge, man. That's what this thing is about, man. We want to see people winning on this platform or whatever that they're doing in life and continue to keep going forward. Take care of them babies, man. I know they are definitely keeping them hands full of that. Uh, money says, can you provide people for your funding source to help leverage people of getting into this opportunity? You know, Drew, you got to kick this person out right now because you're you're the funding expert, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, bro, they they only going off of what you just said. You said that there was a buddy who you went to took yeah. him through a funding source. He got over 180 k. Yeah. And he was able to, you know, use that into, you know, what he's doing. So, yeah. evidently, you got some sort of funding source out there. Yeah, I have. Um, so, we partner up with this company that all they do is funding, uh, you know, for businesses. And they run, like, an algorithm that creates, like, a blueprint of all the different companies or, or creditors that are going to approve you based on the information they get from you up front. So by the time they start getting things out to you is because you're guaranteed to like literally get approved on these things, right? Like, so you're going to end up getting somewhere between five and 20 credit cards. It's going to be based on your credit. And they're going to tell you if you don't have like a 675, I forgot the number, uh, it's not going to work out or you're not going to maximize the program. So right. this program, um, you know, has a fee. Uh, they have two plans. I think one, it's uh, like 3000 The other one is 5000 Now, when you put that in perspective, you pay $3,000, $5,000, and in the next three months, they get you all this funding. Like, it's 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 life-changing funding, right? Like, yeah. So for those of you guys, and Drew, I'm going to share the, the information on the company because you can easily partner up with them. You deal with credit. So I think you it's yeah. of extreme value. To you, you know, to you and and your network to leverage this company, I've done it several times with them, 
and you know they're as neat as a company can get they are like by the books by the days like everything is just like this is the way so um the money uh uh the to answer that yes um i'll send the resource to drew and then he can send it over to you guys and speak about this later on when one of you guys does this program and sees it like i think i think that's going to be of great value but this is to say um <laughs> this is to say that there's no limitation or excuses right like mm -hmm. you don't have money you can get credit if you don't have credit you can use your network and there's no limitations to this raising five thousand dollars is not hard now how old do you have to get uh, to be to get in selling on amazon requires you to be like 18. so okay. 18 plus like you can do this uh and if you're that young i mean just do it man like you know i wish i started doing these type of businesses when i was 18. right yeah um yeah. and uh and that's just that and uh i forgot what i was gonna say i lost train uh uh my my train of thought hmm. drew you should ask me a question what uh what no king's got another question for you man uh, do you have a website or what's the best method uh, that we can get in contact with you to move forward with this opportunity, man? Drew, how, how do you want to uh, uh, manage that, right? Like, so. You I, know what? I, I love direct contact sources, right? So I'm going to just go on ahead and we're going to reach out. I want you, whether it's to follow my guy, John Franco, or reach out to him direct. I think that would be amazing, Ken. So I'm going to share his information now, right now. Sure. Uh, where well, you guys can go ahead and reach out to you on the screen. And I want everybody to go ahead and take a full uh, opportunity of this, you know, this thing that he is actually doing for us in front of your face and make sure that you guys can do this. Thank you know, you. so I'm yeah. actually... I just went on ahead and boom, put this on here. You guys can follow him on Instagram at the Real Franco America, Real Franco America, at Real Franco America. Go ahead in there, go follow him, shoot him a DM, and I'm pretty sure John will be able to get back with you. Here's what I'm going to do for everybody here follow me on Instagram and send me a DM saying, Drew, that keyword is gonna discount $7 on your membership. You heard it here, $7 on the membership for life. It can't get any better than that. Drew, 30 bucks. It doesn't get any better than that, man. doesn't get any better than that, man. You already say, listen, that's $7, Drew can finally buy them fry bologna sandwiches that I was telling you, man. And, you know, I keep the bread. I keep the ends on and everything. We don't cut no ends off. You know, down around here and stuff like that. So that's $7, it will go down from $37 to $30 for the rest of the entire uh, sign up and you partnering with my guy, John Franco. I think that that's a huge deal for some of you guys who are going to be fairing out with this. And especially... If that's something you guys are looking for to diversify your portfolios and he's got the funding source. So if somebody's trying to leverage their credit has, you know, a 675 or above, I preferably say 680, 700, you guys can leverage your credit scores yes, to really turn around and get into these opportunities and allow these plays to start making money residual for you and passive every single month. Yes, sir. Definitely tap into my guy, John Franco, at Real Franco America on Instagram, at the Real Franco America on IG. Make sure you guys go like and send him a message. I Make see sure y'all the actor. They're getting active, Drew. Yeah, I want them to be active, man. I want them to be active. I want them to be proactive. I want them to make sure, man, that they know that we are here for my guy john franco because not only in everything we believe in his vision you want to be a part of it especially when he, this guy is helping change lives and something that can help change your lives and he's blowing it up on a whole nother level to be able to help people around the world and here on every show man we just don't go ahead and talk about help supporting we are the support we lead with action and indeed 
and put money behind what you believe. Thank you, John. Man, listen, is there anything that you would love to conclude and wrap up this show with and leave some sort of inspiration or hope in somebody's life today? Listen, I mean, you know, I can't I can't stop saying this, guys, but just don't stop. I mean, life goes on and on and on. And, you know, at one point, you're going to get replaced in whatever it is that you do. But your memories is, is, is what you take with you, right? Your yeah. network, your family, your friends, this is what you take with you. So value those people. And not only value those people, but make money with them. There's such shit ton of opportunity today when it comes to monetizing, you know, on the internet, you know, in, in e-commerce channels and the opportunities now, right? It's not when you're 60, it's not when you're 70, it's now. You guys have the youth, you guys have the time ahead of you. Now is the time to really explore options that can build wealth for you and free up your time. Because when you free up your time, you don't have to think about money consist constantly. You can invest that time with the people you love whenever you want, anywhere you want, right? Like, so that is just me. That's that's my way of living. Thankfully, you know, thank God, by the way, that I am able to spend so much time with my daughter. Um, you know, now that she is starting to interact, I have a two-year-old uh, earthquake at home. And, um, and yeah, I'm blessed that way. Um, and, uh, I think it's difficult and we see it every day that some people, some parents, they're not able to spend time with their kids simply because they struggle to earn money. Right. But then the resources, they're really out there, you know, like that, that's what, that's what really bothers me that the resources they're out there and people are not leveraging them. So for those of you guys here in this video, first of all, thank you for the time. Thank you for sticking around for, you know, listening to everything I had to say for the great things that uh, we spoke, Drew and myself. But don't stop following your dreams. Don't stop pursuing happiness. When you do understand what happiness is going to be or is for you, you can plan backwards and just put the pieces together, right? That is... Yeah. The only thing that I can say, as a human, I think we all pursue happiness. Nobody wants to cry every single day in their life. Nobody wants to be miserable, right? So don't take decisions that can make you sad, upset, depressed, or miserable. Take decisions that are going to lead you the opposite way. Decisions that are going to give you the opportunity of improving. And don't expect to be rich overnight. That's just bottom line what it is. The internet has flooded that concept that you can get rich overnight, but that never works out. So yeah. invest in vehicles that are sustainable, invest in opportunities that have a long-term vision and you see it to be a possibility, a high possibility, and just keep pushing. I mean, now is a time and we're living in beautiful times where, you know, if you have social influence, you can, you can do a lot of things. If you have knowledge in systems and computers, you can do a lot of things. Uh, for mm -hmm. those younger viewers of this video, I highly recommend that you guys look into coding, learning how to code. I mean, the future, it's its its really coding. Every, everything that we see, everything that you use today in your computer, countless applications, systems out there, they're built by coders. And, and that's only going to go up. It's, it's, it's modern. Mm -hmm real estate it's, it's modern day real estate so investing in, in e-commerce investing in in, uh, in in softwares and technology is really the future and it yeah. might not be clear to you guys right now but with time you guys are going to remember me you guys are going to remember drew in this particular section and you guys are going to say i remember these guys said this and i hope yeah. it is the case but not being late for you guys but early i hope you guys can say, I took action because I heard this Hispanic dude that spoke a little bit complicated, but he delivered the message that I needed at that time. And that's all I hope to do tonight. Um, and I want to see success stories. I want to reconnect with Drew down the line and hear the great things that uh, we, we accomplished because of this video, yeah. right? That's yeah. what I want. And... With that being said, I think that's all for me tonight. I wish you guys an amazing good night. 
in uh, in a bright freaking future ahead of you, blessed with knowledge and blessed with some e-commerce activity. Much love to you guys. I appreciate it. And I Thank appreciate you too, man. Man, you already know, man. Thank you, John Franco, man. My guy, you went and lit it up, man. You 10 x it tonight, man. For real, for real. Listen, if you guys truly love my guy, John, make sure y'all go show John some love because y'all definitely came with the energy tonight on the platform, man, and rocking over two hours out here, man, on this yeah. show because of you guys, man. We truly thank y'all again. Go follow him on Instagram at Real Franco America. At Real Franco America. If you guys need any help, if you guys are friends with me on Instagram at Lambo Drew underscore TMT, make sure you guys uh, check out the friends. And trust me, John is in there. Matter of fact, if you go look on my latest posts, I'm getting ready to give this to you. My latest post, mm -hmm. John literally. It has commented on there. He's in the comments section. Y'all can go there, uh, send a nice message. Go ahead and like, subscribe at Real Franco America. Amazing, amazing guy, man. And go tap in. Listen, we thank each and every one of y'all. Unlimited Freedom say thank you both for a great episode. Thank you, Unlimited Freedom. Unlimited Freedom was actually on the show earlier with me and Bill J. Uh, did the great. live. So, man. And uh, gave a wonderful, wonderful and everything, man, uh, super chat. So shout out to my guy, Unlimited Freedom, for all you have done. Thank you, man. Yeah, keep it doing it. Jamal Titus said another great infor information pack show. Thank you, JT. Hey, it was it was because of my guy, John Franco, who oh, made me it up. all that easy. Me I need to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, man. Look, you better go to sleep, man. My baby says, thank you, John, for joining us yeah, tonight. Doing love. Kennard Haney says, thank you, John Franco. What a great show. What fire yeah, emojis and the hearts, man. You know what time it is. My guy, Issa, you already know Issa, man. Yes, From sir. the conference, there's a big thank you, man, for tonight, man. Listen, we really want to thank each and every one of y'all. Thank our special guest, John Franco. Again, make sure you support the movement. If you are looking in another area of diversification, John Franco has a system that will definitely help you gain that extra diversification and you can get leverage and the banks love to lend to e-commerce stores. I'm telling you what I know. You may want to go ahead and look into that and help diversify yourself just a little bit more on a more stable platform. Let's make it happen, baby. That's that's all I can say. Let's win big and let's win together. Well, brother, we winning big, we winning together, man, and we making sure that we are winners here. Listen, again, we are not out of message, but we are out of time. Thank you again, man, for stopping in on The Leverage Show. As we're telling you, we're changing everyone in the world, one podcast at a time. I love y'all guys. Until next time, again, stay tapped Thank in. You. Tuesday night, Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, we are right here on this level show me and john franco man we're out of here for the night have a great and safe night everybody take care love y'all god bless